Hello everyone, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Alexa Minton. I'm in for Chris Bailey tonight for your WKYT Evening News. Thanks so much for joining me here on Facebook. I know we had a pretty gloomy start to our work week. I mean, rain, Monday's already not the best day of the week, so we didn't need the rain to make it feel not so good. At least we had some nice temperatures, and those temperatures are really sticking around for our forecast. Look at this, we're at 55 right now for our temperatures, and you can see a lot of those overcast sky conditions, well, they're locking in some moisture for our skies. We still got 83% percent humidity so you could see a pop up shower here or there in parts of the overnight. Your main focus for the coming days is going to be a low pressure system that rolls in and shakes us up big time because we go from rainy and in the 50s for our forecast today to seeing conditions drop temperature wise and us seeing snow chances and strong wind gusts by the time we're looking towards our Wednesday forecast. A lot is about to change, especially those temperatures. We're above average right now for our temperatures by about 10 degrees or so in the low end of the 50s. Today we were well above average. A few areas marked temperatures in the 60s, which is just crazy for a December day. And don't worry, if you were looking for it to feel a little bit more like Christmas outside, well, Wednesday's going to be your day. We got snow chances and those temperatures are plummeting down towards the 30s. So let's walk through our hour by hour forecast because once you look towards the start of your Tuesday, you start to see some of that rain creeping back into our region. A lot of areas south of I-64 have a chance of getting locally heavy rainfall, but everyone's got a shout at some scattered showers for our Tuesday forecast. Before you head out the door tomorrow morning. Grab that umbrella. Keep it close with you. Those temperatures, they're going to be in the 50s for most of our day. There's not much temperature variability during the daytime hours. We kind of stick around the low end of the 50s, anywhere between 53 really towards around the low 50s, like 50, 51. But those scattered showers, well, they're persistent across our skies. Now, a lot of eastern Kentucky has a chance of reaching parts of the 60s again for our forecast tomorrow, but central Kentucky, you guys are going to stay in the 50s. Now, what we're going to notice is as we slowly transition towards parts of the overnight, well, folks, Around 7 o'clock, you're going to start to see what looks like the showers leaving our area. Really, they're just shifting towards parts of the east, and then eventually that cold air catches up with us. And look at what happens. You can see it goes from a wintry mix that rainfall wintry mix into snow and the temperatures are going to be the key to that part. This is your Wednesday morning. Got the 48 in Pikeville, so they're still getting rainfall. Then as you go towards Jackson, 43, so they're getting more of a wintry mix, crossing over towards those 30 degree temperatures you see in Cynthia and Lexington, Mount Sterling, Richmond. That's when you see the flying flakes. But if you're thinking Central Kentucky has the best shot at snow, no, I fear it's going to be our friends in Eastern Kentucky once again. You can see maybe upwards of an inch and a half, closer to two inches of snowfall or potential in hazard parts of Harlan Pikeville. It decreases the closer towards central Kentucky you go. We're looking more like a coating towards a half an inch of snow accumulation, but you're definitely going to feel that temperature bite for your forecast. So for our snow lovers out there, I know there's quite a few of you. Some of you guys aren't necessarily fans of snow. Let us know in the comments if you guys are excited to see snow return or maybe not looking forward to see snow return to the forecast. Best chances you got are going to be in this dark blue shaded region. That's where we're talking about maybe around an inch and a half of snowfall decreasing to a coating for those areas shaded in white. The blue will probably end up getting around a half an inch of snowfall. So certainly a lot happening. Stick with WKYT. I'll be back for the CW Lexington at 10 o'clock tonight. I'll be on WKYT at 11. And of course, you can always join us all week long as we continue to track a little bit of a whiplash filled weather week. But thanks so much for joining me. You guys will get Chris Bailey back tomorrow. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Alexa Minton. You guys have a great rest of your night.